Hello Geeks and Gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and unfortunately I've got some crappy ch uh, information to share with you guys that I just was told about from someone in our YouTube comments. I don't have your name because I, I had to pull up the article on my phone, but someone just shared this article with me that apparently was released after midnight here in Texas, so it was released yesterday, which would be Friday, I think? Yeah, my days are all mixed up. So, as most of you know, I'm a fan of J.J. Abrams, and I've been saying that I think J.J. is going to get us pointed in the right direction for Episode 9. I, I, I'm a fan of The Force Awakens. I'm a fan of Lost. I'm a fan of Mission Impossible 3. I'm a fan of his Trek films. I'm a fan of several of the TV shows he's worked on. And I've had a lot of faith in the fact that J.J. will get us pointed in the right direction for Episode 9. And I had a lot of faith that Disney would make a concerted effort to go, hey, maybe instead of focusing on diversity first in these films, maybe we should focus on story first. And that would, you know, obviously that makes business sense. Well, IndieWire.com just released an article, an exclusive article with J.J. Abrams. The headline, J.J. Abrams. Star Wars fans who didn't like The Last Jedi are threatened by women. <sighs> Here we go again. Here we go with the mountain of excuses that always happen. So, I can only speak for myself, but I'm also at least knowledgeable enough to, to, to get the general sense that's out there. As for myself, I'm definitely someone who has been very, very vocal in the fact that I don't like The Last Jedi. I don't like the fact that it's got this obvious push to get more women and diversity in it. I've been very vocal about that. So generally, you're probably gearing comments of, like these comments are kind of going towards someone like me, someone that's speaking out like me. Okay, my favorite Star Wars character is Ahsoka. Um, Wonder Woman was my second favorite movie of the year last year. I think Princess Leia is amazing. I have a daughter. I have a wife. I have very many strong women in my life. Um, for, you know, I was a defender of Rey in The Force Awakens, even though it did not work out. And I was more or less having faith that J.J. had a plan. And J.J. clearly didn't have a plan for Rey. Um, so yeah, it's downright just stupid to insinuate that people that didn't like The Last Jedi just have a problem with women, because uh, I don't know of anybody who's ever had a problem with Princess Leia as a Star Wars fan. I don't know of anybody, I know of so many people who still long for a lot of the EU female characters. Obviously Ahsoka's gotten to the point where she's one of the most beloved characters in the universe and we know Ahsoka wasn't really loved at first when she came on and but it was kind of hard to understand like who is this who is she once you started understanding where she was going and started to get a little more knowledge about her we all fell in love with her for the most part I know there are people out there who don't like her and you're wrong and that's okay it's okay to be wrong um, but these comments that JJ made are just downright disturbing for the simple fact that he's gonna continue doubling down on Ryan Johnson's BS from The Last Jedi. He's not going to fix anything. He's going to double down on it. More. Here's more of Abrams' comments. Abrams was unfazed. Star Wars is a big galaxy, and you can sort of, sort of find almost anything you want, want in Star Wars. If you are someone who feels threatened by women and needs to lash out against them, you can probably find an enemy in Star Wars. I don't really even know what that means. Um, but this is this is just downright ridiculous. It's more excuses for bad writing. Now, they're also referenced in that article this stupid claim that an alt-right group claimed responsibility for the bad Rotten Tomatoes score for The Last Jedi, and it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That page is gone now, the Facebook page that claimed it. I remember looking at that page and it had like 400 likes. And most of the people that, I would say 95, not even, not 98 or 99 percent of the people that were commenting on that page were destroying the page. But you claim that this guy had such an army that he was willing to drive down the Rotten Tomatoes score, okay? Now we have facts, we have facts from Rotten Tomatoes who said, based on their data, that there was no, no, no uh, traffic that showed any kind of... Uh, 
you know, inaccurate, you know, things going on behind the scenes or whatever. I can't think right now clearly because I'm tired. But Rotten Tomatoes basically said the score was accurate. But those facts don't seem to matter because let's make let's cr let's claim that this 400 page 400 like Facebook page had the power to destroy the Last Jedi Rotten Tomato score. If that's the case, why does Wonder Woman have an insanely high, um, you know, Rotten Tomato score for the fan score? Why does um, why does The Force Awakens have such a high score? Why does why does why do the men all the men that hate these women being in Star Wars? Why do we hear so many calls from these same men to have more Captain Phasma? When we're critical of it, going, man, I thought Captain Phasma was going to be amazing. I bought all these Captain Phasma figures, but yet she's not in the movie much, and we all know she's a badass because she's Gwendolyn and Christie, and we want to see more of her. But because we want more Phasma, suddenly we're intimidated by strong women. Get the hell out of here. This is so disappointing, and it really guts my enthusiasm for Episode Nine. And I've been preaching, going, JJ, I've got faith in JJ, i got faith in JJ. And again, I'm not completely jumping off the, the, the JJ bandwagon here. I, I'm disappointed in his comments. It doesn't change the fact that I've been a fan of the guy for a long time. And it doesn't change the fact that I think he's done great work. And I know a lot of you are down on JJ. I get it. But these comments are, are alarming to me because he's just, at the end of the day, it goes like this. All I can do is speak on myself, okay? I'm the owner of geeksandgamers.com. We're not a big website. So go ahead and go in the comments and say, oh, you guys aren't shit. We know we're not shit. It's fine. It's okay. But for what we are, and I'm pretty proud of what we are, I have about 40 people on my team. And we have a very diverse group of people. It wasn't because I was like going out and looking for diverse people, but once I saw diverse people show up and showed that they had the interest and then developed a relationship with them and show, know that I could trust them, then absolutely, I'm 100% on board with trying to get as much diversity here as possible, but it's not like I'm actively going out and trying to find it. And the problem is, is what Lucasfilm and Hollywood generally are doing right now is they're putting diversity before the story. Focus on the story first. Then if the diversity comes with it, that's fine. I guarantee you, we don't care if it's a good story and we have good characters. We don't care what color they are. We don't care what gender they are. If they're good characters and they're good for the story and they're good for the mythology, we will not care. But when it's obvious that you're just worrying about the agenda and the diversity first and the story second, then yes, it's a problem. And right now, that is exactly what's going on at Lucasfilm. And it is a problem. And fans are starting to notice. And instead of taking these criticisms into consideration, Disney is doubling down on it. And they are basically saying, you're sexist. You're a sexist man, and you're just intimidated by strong females. No, we're actually, um, we're actually intimidated by bad writing and we really just want to see better written characters with better written arcs. Nobody has a problem with Rey. We have a problem with Rey not having the proper writing and the proper arc. There's a big difference in having a problem with the character arc and having a problem with the character's gender. And nobody is upset about Rey being a girl. We're upset because Ray has not gotten a proper story arc. And apparently that makes you a sexist when you want a better written story. And you just want Star Wars to be honored in the way it's been honored for over 40 years. Apparently that's a problem now. This is very disappointing news for me. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be disappointed. I'm sure a lot of you are going to say, I told you so, I told you so. Yeah, you told me so. There's nothing I can say about it. Um, that doesn't change the fact that I'm still a fan of J.J. generally speaking. But this is not good. And I think that this is, it was going to be interesting to see if he's going to expand on this. But this was a bad move. This is a bad move considering what's going on with Star Wars right now. And man, my, uh, my confidence in Disney just continues to, to, I mean, again, you can go back to 2012 when Disney bought Lucasfilm. And nobody was more confident than me. Um, being a Disney fan, seeing what they did with Marvel, seeing what they did with Pixar, seeing what they've done with all these things. But they are so determined to make Star Wars into the social justice empire right now, they are sacrificing story, they are sacrificing characters, they're sacrificing history, they're sacrificing the fans. They are just all in, and I don't know what's gonna happen, but JJ just really messed up. This was a bad, bad move. What do you guys think? 
let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry if I wasn't as sharp as I normally am. I am tired, but I wanted to get this video done. I will have this uploaded tomorrow, so we'll have two videos up on the channel. And uh, I'll be back better than ever come Monday. I'll be going to see Black Panther tomorrow, so I'll have a review for Black Panther on Sunday. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I'm trying to give you as much as we can pump out. And uh, we're going to keep grinding. And we'll get back on the podcast network very soon. Check out geeksandgamers.com for more coverage from all of this stuff from my team. You guys have a great night. We'll talk to you later.